Hi folks, Mike Stoffergen with Showstopper Sequences here. I wanted to spend a little time today explaining to you the importance of the master view and uh, you making sure that you take control of it and set it up so that your sequences render exactly the way that you want them to render. All right, what is the master view? Well, the master view is a listing. It shows the groups and modable models that are available for any sequence. Uh, but more importantly, it determines the render order. Okay, what is the render order? Well, let me show you where we're at and, and I can give you an example of how it affects things. All right, the very first thing that we've got right now is we've got a um, little layout that I did uh, using just native models from x -Lights. I created some spinners, some candy canes, uh, mini trees with stars, arches, a mega tree, and then a mega tree star. Then I went into the sequencer and I created a basic animation. And you'll see here uh, it has listed on the view right here. It has the master view. And in the master view, it shows everything that I created. So the layout, everything you put in the layout actually feeds into your master view. So it's all listed there. Anything I created down there and um, that's how it's set up. Now, if you don't manipulate it, you're going to just get uh, the order that x uh, puts those items into the master view itself. And sometimes we end up with a result that we don't really want. Let me give you an example here. Okay, um, I'm going to put on to <clears throat> the uh, mini tree stars, I'm going to put on just a pinwheel. Um, and I have it set up to where it's a per model default. There's six arms. Uh, I made it 100% thick, put a 3D effect on it. Um, okay, you can kind of see I'm going to zoom in so it makes it a little better for you. You can kind of see what they're doing. They are individually rotating. Now, that's fine. Looks great. Uh, that's what we want. Now, at the same time, let's say we want uh, a pinwheel going over everything. So I'm going to take that pinwheel, I'm going to put it on everything, but I'm going to change it to where it's just the default. So now we've got spinning all across it. But you'll see here on the mini tree stars, we actually lost that individual rotation. And the reason why is because the render order here on the master file, the default, is wrong. Uh, we need to go from large to small. So here's how you need to manipulate this so that you're set up to sequence. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to Edit Display Elements. And you'll see here, now our master view is listed and all those things are in the order that we had before. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clone that. Now it pops up as a copy of the master view. I like to call it my view. You can call it whatever makes sense to you. It really doesn't matter as long as it, it does make sense to you. I right, call mine my view and if I uh, see the master view and my view are identical. All right, I'm going to do a couple of things uh, real quick here. Remember, I want to go from large to small. So I'm going to take my everything and I'm going to move it to the very top. Okay, then um, I'm going to take my spinners. We've got under that the even and uh, the odd spinners. Okay, then I've got uh, candy canes. And you'll notice I'm kind of working from the top down. Um, then I have uh, the mini tree stars. I've got even and odd. I've got the mini trees themselves and I'm going to make it even and odd. And then we've got the arches there last. Now I'm going to do something that a lot of people don't do and I think you should. Is I'm going to highlight all <coughs> the individual props that are listed there. The way I do that is I click the first one, hold down the shift key, collect the last one. Now they're all highlighted. And I'm going to take out of that group the mega tree and the mega uh, tree star. And then I'm going to take all those individual props and I'm going to remove them from my view. 
The reason why is because when I am sequencing, if I want to look at spinner one, two, three, or four, I can double click on spinners and spinners one, two, and one, two, three, and four will be listed there. So if a prop is in a group, you don't need it listed at the bottom. The only time you need to include it is if it is going to be individually sequenced, where it's not a part of a group. And in this instance, the megatree star and the megatree are there listed down at the bottom. All right, so next step is we're going to want to clone that. I mean, make it the master, excuse me, not, not clone. Okay, so I'm going to hit make master. And... If you look, the master view now is like that, and the my view is like that. Now, that would be great, um, and we could stop there, but what happens is that every time you start a new sequence, Xlights is going to default back to the old master view. All right, let me show you that. All right, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to... Uh, before I do that, let me show you here. If I re-render this, you'll see now that the everything still puts the nice uh, spiral, the pinwheel on everything, but we got back the individual rotation there because it's in the right order. Everything is above, the mini trees are below, so the mini trees are going to trump this because in the render order, X lights renders everything first, then spinners, then even and odd candy canes gets the mini tree stars, even and odd. It'll do it in that order. So we got back the nice rotation on the mini tree stars. All right, so now let me show you what you need to do. One more step to make this work perfectly for you. Go up to File, go to your Preferences. At the Sequence tab, what you want to do, see this default view for new sequences. You want to click there and make it my view or whatever you named uh, that view. And I'm going to tell it OK. Go to your layout tab and save. Now, if I go to the sequencer, I'm going to go create a new sequence. I'm going to discard those changes. I'm going to create an animation, 40 frames per second, quick start. OK, we're kind of back to where we were before. But you'll notice here on the my view, popped up first because we told it to, but at the same time, if we go to the master view, the master view has now been manipulated so that it is exactly the same as my view. So you don't have to go in each time and tell it to take my view and make it the master. It's automatically set up if you go into the preferences, sequences tab, and tell it what the default view is going to be. All right, so now you're set up, you're ready to do it. There's a couple of, of uh, groupings that I think you should consider adding. Let's go back to the Layout tab. All right, the first one, and you'll see this in, in um, Showstopper sequences, uh, I will put in what's called an FPG, or Focal Point Group. Um, all right, so uh, let's take a look at the Everything Group here. All right, in the Everything Group, if I zoom in a little bit there, you see this red hash in the center? Okay, that is that group's center point. Now over here, I can manipulate that with the center offsets, X and Y coordinates. All right, I'm okay with that being on the everything group, but let me uh, select these individual groups here. Let me select that. I'm going to deselect, hold down the control key, I'm going to deselect the tree, and uh, the star. And I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to right click, create group, and I'm going to call it the FPG Megatree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that center, that focal point, I'm going to change it over to the tree with this group. Okay, I'm going to tell it OK. Now I've got a new group, but look where the focal point. It's exactly the same as where it was before. So what I want to do, I'm just going to hit save, is I want to manipulate the X and the Y. Now I know from previous experience that I'm going to need to put this at about 729. And the way that I usually get there 
uh, you'll see if I hit uh, tab, it takes that over to the center of the tree. Now I want to manipulate that a little bit further because I want it to be the visual center of the tree. So I know that 105 will do that. And okay, so now the focal point of that group has gone from here to here. All right, so I'm going to save that. Let's go back to our sequencer. I'm going to right click, edit the display elements. And you'll see here this FPG mega tree is listed over here and not here. I'm going to need to add that right underneath the everything because it's an everything group. It's one of the bigger groups. I'm going to put it underneath the one that includes the mega tree. I've got to do it in the master view, but I also need to do it into my view. All right, so it's been added into both of these. All right, I'm going to go back over to the layout and I'm going to hit save because that's going to save that information for me so it's available the next time. All right, so now I'm back at the sequencer. Let me add a timing mark here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same pinwheel and I'm going to put it on the everything group. And you'll see that the center point of that everything group is right where it was before. It's right around uh, just, just below the fourth um, candy cane in, in the uh, everything group. Okay, I'm going to take uh, that same effect and I'm going to move it down to the FPG mega tree. I'm just using the arrow key down and I'm going to re-render it just to make sure I get it all, everything right. Okay, and you'll see now it has switched where the center point is now the mega tree. So if I've got something really cool going on the mega tree that I want everybody to look at, uh, for right now, I will just uh, copy that and put it on the mega tree itself. Okay, now I've got that going on the mega tree, uh, and the focal point that is everything emanates from that center point, that visual center that we that we created. So the focal point groups are real good if you've got a matrix. You want people to look at your mega tree. Maybe you've got a Bethlehem star on the top of your of your house, and what you want you want every effect to emanate uh, from that, and uh, so you can go ahead and and uh, create those focal point groups, and you can create as many as you want. I usually have three. I have one for the matrix. I have one for um, the Bethlehem star, and I've got one for the mega tree itself. You have the FPG groups, you can create as many as you want and, and then just change uh, the X and Y to create the center. A lot of people ask, why do you exclude the mega tree and the mega tree star? Well, since I'm trying to draw attention to that, chances are good that I've got something unique or unusual going on there that's probably not going on around it. So I will exclude uh, those two elements from the FPG groups. If it's the matrix, I'll exclude the matrix. If it's the Bethlehem star, uh, FPG, uh, you know, star, I will exclude the Bethlehem star from, from that group. Because again, I probably got something unique going on there that I'm trying to draw attention to. So that's one group you should consider adding. The second group um, that I'm going to create is called an override group. Again, I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to create a new group. And I'm going to call it the Everything Override. Now, this is an unusual group because it, it, it's going, we're going to use it contrary to the basic rule, you know, that the big things go at top. All right, so let me go to the sequencer. Let me right click, uh, edit display elements, and you'll see the everything override. What I'm going to do with the everything override, I want it to be at the very bottom of the my view and the master view. All 
Why do I want it at the bottom? Well, because uh, let's say, you know, you want to use what I call a negative, uh, uh, negative beats, uh, where you want, when you, when you have real strong beats, instead of flashing uh, colors, you want it to black out. Well, one of the things you can do is on this everything override, you can go in and you can put the off command on that. And that off command will then override everything above it. Because remember, it renders from the top down. So this will be the last thing that it does. You can also use it for uh, transitions between uh, sections of your song. It's, it's just a handy little tool to have. Don't have to have it, but it makes your life easier. Rather than going in and, and adding, say, a dozen off commands, you can just put one in one place and, and get the same effect. All right, so that's something we'll want to do. Again, I'm going to go to the layout and tell it to save it so it's available for me the next time. All right, so those uh, that's an overview of the master uh, view. Now, there's some other things that you may want to consider creating, some other types of views. So let me go back here and I'll show you one. I call these uh, sequencing uh, uh, views. Down to edit, display elements, get back to our view. And I'm going to add one here. And uh, let's just call it trees. Okay, so I'm going to add the trees in. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to populate this a little bit with the groups. Um, I'm going to add in the mini trees. Uh, the even mini trees and the odd mini trees and the mega tree. So I'm going to add those into my trees group and you can see there it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to X out of that and I come back here and you can see I've got now I've got uh, my mini trees uh, listed there. Um, interesting, you'll see that the things, one of the effects that we have on there is on the everything group. The everything group is not listed. If I want to get back to that, I can go back to my master view and uh, I can take out uh, that and I can uh, leave the mega tree going. Come back to the trees. Okay, so with these anything groups, these, these sequencing groups, what you can do is you can go in and create as many of them as you want. Um, they're particularly helpful as your display gets larger. Uh, what it does is it allows you to focus your attention a little bit more. Uh, when I'm sequencing, I find that it, it makes my life a whole lot easier if I can focus in on just one or two props at a time without having uh, the various distractions. So that's one thing that I will do is, is definitely uh, will we'll use some sequencing views um, to, to help me focus attention. And that's something else that uh, you might find helpful. All right, well, anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to share with you about uh, the master view, uh, creating uh, your own view, making it the default, setting up um, FPG groups, setting up override groups, and then setting up individual um, what I call uh, sequencing views uh, where you can go in and, and sequence just the same type of prop uh, or a group of props that, uh, that you want to use. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you.